my name is Joe. You once again found yourself at the Joe is Hungry channel, where we give you one thing, call it something else, right here within the city limits of Fairmount, Georgia. Today, we need to knock out a few birthday shout outs. Brett Daniel, Sam and Ziera, Andrea, Joe, April and Gavin, Wilson, Nick, Caden and Nikki, Reese, Gabe, Jade and Chrissy. I wanna wish each and every one of you a very special Joe is Hungry birthday shout out. I want to thank everybody that filled out this week's food poll because you're sending me to Bojangles to check out their new Bo's Bird Dog, which is made of a Bo's Chicken Supreme Tender, two thick cut dill pickle, Carolina Gold Barbecue Sauce, and for those of you who don't know, it is a honey mustard blend on a toasted potato bun. I have no calorie count on this, no nutritional information, no serving weights. There is none to be found. I guess Bojangles never heard of the FDA and the requirements to have nutritional information available. It's that or they just don't care. And you know, I reached out to customer service and even media relations and I got the standard fast food response. This video hasn't even got started yet and me and Bo are already off on the wrong foot. So if Bojangles ever comes out of their self-induced coma or whatever is going on over there and cough up some nutritional information, I will definitely put it in the description below. A single order of Bo Bird Dogs, which is two dogs and no drink, will make your $5 disappear right before your very eyes. Make it a combo for $7.99 before taxes in Georgia. I guess we need to see if they're pulling these hot and fresh out of the fryer and serving them hot and the only way to do that is to roll the drive through ad. Bojangles in Cartersville, Georgia. Okay. Could I get three orders of uh, bird dogs? You want three orders of bird dogs? Would it be awesome? Yeah, just, yeah, they're two for five, right? So I get six of them. You want six in all? Six in all and three separate packages. Okay, 21.40. Yeah, all right, thank you. I got my bird dogs, let's pull off to the side and do the Joe is Hungry temperature test. Bird dog number one is 104.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Bird dog number two is 114.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Bird dog number three is 118.0 degrees Fahrenheit. If you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know I like my temperatures at 140 degrees or above. Hotter is always better. Apparently, that is a concept that is lost on the Bojangles here in Cartersville. Any hopes that I had this cooked fresh, pulled straight out of the fryer are dashed. So today, Cartersville, Bojangles, you fail. The Joe is hungry, temperature test. Now it's time to seek the truth, break out the knives, get ready to skin this dog, head back to the studios and do the Joe is hungry weight test. Now I know these came in two packs, but to make things simple, I'm gonna weigh each one of them at a time for a total of six. And also, as usual, as we say every time, we're gonna keep things honest because we're gonna take off for the packaging. In other words, we're gonna set the chair on the scales. Bird dog number one is 4.35 ounces. Bird dog number two is 4.40 ounces. Bird dog number three again is 4.40 ounces. Bird dog number four is 4.15 ounces. Bird dog number five is 4.20 ounces. Bird dog number six weighs in at 3.50 ounces or 99 grams. Well, I really don't know what happened with that last one. We were doing pretty good with one through five. So today, I really kind of don't know what to do about that except Bojangles. Today probably needs all the help they can get, so I'm gonna let them slip by this time on the Joe is Hungry consistency weight test. Well, they didn't give me any nutritional information, no serving weights, and I can tell you I am not happy about that. But that only leaves one more thing to do, and that would be to add them all up, average them out, do the math, and you come up with a middle of the road 60 cents an ounce, which leads us on to the next chapter, the one and only, the Joe is Hungry big reveal. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. 
we've seen what it looks like we saw how much it was it's not too terribly far off its ad photos it's not a horrible price the only problem I'm really having with is the temperature it actually got warmer riding over here in my heated carrying case so I'm a little bit skeptical about the bike test but like I say the show must go on and uh, so I guess it is bite test engage <laughs>taste the uh, barbecue sauce what little there is of it the pickles are thick and crunchy I'll give them that I can see why they use the potato bun it kind of gives it that sort of a hot dog vibe if executed correctly and that is a key word here it's actually not a terrible concept but before I make up my mind I'd like to get the on the scene shadow Joe's take alter the currents of time and do the Joe is hungry sneak a doodle bite. sneak a doodle bite number one Sneak a doodle bite number two. Sneak a doodle bite number three. What you thinking, Joe? Now hold on a second. What I think is we're gonna wait till a little bit later and talk about this. Okay. It is bath water warm. That is unfortunate. Hopefully I won't get sick. The pickle is crunchy. There is a small amount of heat, I think in that barbecue sauce, but not near enough to really taste it good. Let's move on with this video. Now that we have our minds together on that one, it's time to give this thing a score. If you don't know my scale, my scale is one to 10, nine being the best. Anything above nine is a once in a lifetime experience and almost never achieved. Five and down is that slippery slope to the pit and depths of fast food hell. So let's give this the number that it truly deserves. Bojangles, you didn't have a terrible concept here. Not the greatest flavor combinations. I would have probably used a sweeter barbecue sauce and about twice as much. What I'm having a problem with is you're not maintaining safe temperatures. It tells me that you don't care. It is a shame. So when I go through that drive-through and they look me in the eye and they hand me food that is basically Petri dish temperature, what am I supposed to do? Bojangles, today, I'm gonna go 3.9. That is my number, this is my review, and hopefully I will see you in the next video.